take dot plots and frequency histograms. A dot plot is the simplest plot you can draw. So they look something like this. They're only used for relatively small sets of data, so you won't see a dot plot for 3,000 sets, for 3,000 pieces of data. And all it is, is just each dot represents a particular piece of data, and that's all it is. So if I were to write this data set out, it would be one, two, two, three, 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 four, 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 five, 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 and six. So that's my data set, and that's the dot plot that goes with that data set. For frequency histograms, they're slightly different. For them, you need a table, and those tables, the easiest way to draw them is something like that. So your frequency table will look something like that and you use these for large sets of data. Okay, so these are used for much larger sets of data and you have an interval here. So let's say it was 30 to 34 and then 35 to 39 and 40 to 44 and so on. And as you go through your data set, you just put a tally. So you just go through and work out as you go through your data, how many there are. Okay, and then you, at the end, you just tally it up. So you work out the frequency. So there are six values between 30 and 34. There are eight values between 30 and 39 and there are four values between 40 and 44 and then you would transfer that onto a frequency histogram like this where you've got so 30 to 34 35 to 39 40 to 44 and you draw a frequency histogram so that'll go up to 6 that'll go up to 8 and that will go up to four. So that's the frequency histogram that belongs to this frequency table.